complete zoom meeting tutorial 2024 hey guys this is shan and today in this video i'm going to show you how you can host a zoom meeting completely for free of cost in 2024 now in this video you will learn how you can set up your meeting how you can add your participants how you can share your screen or even use a whiteboard for your presentations how you can control how your participants behave during the meeting also you will learn how you can add different kind of virtual background so that you can make an office like feeling right from your home as well now the best part here is that all of these can be done for free of cost using zoom so if that sounds interesting to you then please stick on with me till the end of this zoom meeting tutorial now if you want to learn more about zoom and more about video production then i will leave a link to my best selling udemy course in the description below which has the highest rated course in video production using different techniques and most of them by the way are free of cost so you can check out that course as well anytime you wish to by going down on the description of this video with that being said without further ado let's jump in Hey, welcome to another tutorial and this time we are going to use zoom right so uh, in order to use zoom you just need to head over to this website zoom.us right and as you can see over here this opens up now if you are joining a zoom meeting then you don't need anything you can just head over to this join click on that and in here you can enter your meeting id and then if you have a password you need to just click on join and boom you would be able to join your meeting right now in case if you want to host a meeting we will go back to zoom again and in here if you want to host a meeting we can come over here on the host and in here we have three options we can either uh, host it with our video turned off that is our webcam turned off or our video turned on right or we can share the screen only so these three options are available so let us do it with your video on so let's click on that and in here as you can see it's asking us to open the zoom application now with that being said if this is the first time you are into zoom then you'll be prompted to download zoom which should look something like this right so let me again mark it out for you so this is the zoom windows application that we have right i have already got it installed so in your case if this that is the first time then you would also have to do that right now once done we can just click on open zoom meetings and in here we can actually go ahead and launch the meeting right so as you can see our uh, windows thing has opened up over here so it's connecting to our login password and uh, login id and password right i have already done so now i've already set up my account in your case you need to set up your account right and then if you want to test your speaker and your microphone you can do that as well the next thing that you want to allow is that join with computer audio now this computer audio means uh, it is going to actually pick up whatever sound is being played on your desktop it can be the sound of a movie it can be the sound of a mouse click it can be the sound of your or cpu fans whatever it is it will actually pick that up right so let's do that and as you can see now you are connected with the computer audio so what i want to do is that i want to go full screen with it so i have gone full screen with it right and now as you can see over here we have different things available right or right on this bottom hand side so i am going to actually take you through all of them and uh, this uh, zoom camera that you are seeing is coming off my uh, laptop webcam right and that's why it's a bit distorted it's not from the dslr because the dslr is actually streaming on my obs right so with that being said i do have got all the options over here as well so now we are actually diving inside of the options and i'm going to show you everything so don't worry so let's start the options one by one so the first thing that we have on this left hand side as you can see on this side let me mark this out this is the dashboard that we are going to play around with right so this part keep an eye on this part right so in here there is the first thing which is the microphone as you can see so what i can do is that i can turn this on or off i can select the microphone as well normally it's taking the yeti microphone if i want to uh, actually add any other microphone we can do that very effectively right okay. so i have set up the camera in the right way now and it's more my face coming up right so quite good now with that being said um, you can go ahead and test your speaker as well and you can the best part is that you can go over to audio settings and from here you can have your audio settings right you can change the microphone you can have your output volume level you can test your microphone you can see the testing it's working right you can automatically adjust your microphone volume you can have the zoom optimized audio which is actually going to give you better output if you want to you can if you want to you can use that or you can use this high as well which actually 
suppresses the noise. Now with that being said, there is a no background noise suppression as well. And this is by default into auto mode, which gives you the better uh, system resources usage. But if you want a high one, you can do that as well. Then you can have this for musicians or you can have it for live performance as well. This is in a beta mode, right? So that was the first part of it. The second part that we have is the video. So if we want to stop the video anytime, what we can do is that we can click on stop video and boom, you can see the video has stopped, right? Now, if we again click on start video, boom, the video would be back. So that's how easy it is. Then in the similar way, we can just click on this arrow over here. And from here, we can have different things. We can choose different uh, cameras. As you can see over here, there are different cameras that are available. I can blur my background as well if I want to. Just click on that. And as you can see, it gives you the bokeh kind of thing. Now, since a green screen, so you are not being actually it. But if it, if it would have been a distant background, it would have been blurred out. And this part would have been a bokeh kind of, right? Then we can also choose a virtual background. So if we click on that, you can see over here currently, uh, it's my background that is showing over here. Then we can go ahead and pick out the different virtual backgrounds. We can just click on this plus and we can go for add image. And in here, maybe I want to add this hospital background so I can do that, right? And as you over here now, if I actually cut this off, you can see I'm coming on in background and it's quite perfect, right? Uh, you can see over here my webbing over here. I'm going to also show you how to remove and see as I move my hands, it has a little greenish teeth on right so for that we can actually go back to the arrow and again go over to video settings and in here what i can do is that i can come over to background and effects and in here i just need to turn this thing on that is i have a green screen now if i turn this on and if i cut this now now if i do this you can see the green tinge is not there right you can see now it's more crisp more sharp right and everything occurs seamlessly so this is a great way in which you can change the background now I, let me change my background to uh, something different, something home office kind of thing. Let me do that. What I can do is that I just come over here and click on this plus sign, go over to add image. And in here, I'm going to add this one that I've downloaded right now. And in here, if I click it out, you can see nice little office right in my background. So depending on the resolution of the image, it will be a more crisper one, right? So this is how it works. And uh, this is how easy things are using Zoom, right? So uh, I guess you didn't know this thing that is on this uh, share video on this uh, option that we had on the video settings. Uh, just remember on the background effects, if you have a green screen, just remember to take this on. That is, I have a green. Screen. Otherwise, if I turn this off again, and again, if I go here, you will see greenish tinge appearing, right? Every time I have this waving going, and it actually takes up this green. So it, this is an important thing that I wanted to show you. With that being said, other than this, there are very much other things that you can do. You can come over to this choose video filter, click on that, and this gives you nice little video filters that you can add. Say, for example, uh, if I want to add uh, a hat, just for an example. There you go. I am having a hat right now, right? Uh, let me add a sunglasses. Well, glasses, right? Quite good. And uh, uh, okay, I can have a little easy as well. So all of this is doable, right? It's kind of funny things and it's kind of a quite amazing technology that it has. And there's a motion tracking as well. I'm moving and so is the uh, glass virtual, right? So that's how it happens, right? Now with that being said, other than this, there are also very uh, useful other features as well, which I want to take you through. But currently I'm just going through all the essential features on the next module. I'll cover you up with all the tricky features that it has. With that being said, uh, let's go back and let's uh, stop using this FX, right? So let's do it none. And I'm back over here. Now on the virtual backgrounds, you could have also added a video as well. If I click on this, you can see over here, you can add videos as well. And that makes it even more, right? Now with that being said, that is it for this uh, video related thing. On the next level, we can go ahead and manage the participants. So in here, you can see these participants. If I click on that, this window opens up over here, right? Now in here, as you can see, I can, currently there's only one participant that is me. So I have to use that only. Otherwise you would have have all the participants that were available, right? So what we could have done is that we could go ahead and mute the participants, right? So what happens is that once they are muted, say for example, you are uh, taking a lesson. There are many students. Say 30 students and you are uh, taking a lesson. 
So you don't want any unwanted interruption within that, right? So what you can do is that you can just go ahead and mute them all using this mute all button over here, right behind my camera, right? There's a mute all button. So if I press on that, you can see mute all current and new participants. So what this ensures is that not only the participants who are currently in the call would be muted, but also if somebody joins a little later, they would be muted as well, right? So you just need to turn this on and boom, they would be muted at one go. Now, if you want to unmute them again, you can just click over here and you can unmute them as well, right? So that's up to you. Now, with that being said, there is a three dots over here. If you click on that, you are going to get even more options. Now, I'll go through that in a little scale in the next module, but in in the next lecture but currently i'm just going through all the essential things now in the similar way there might be 10 students and you might have all of their videos so maybe you don't want to see the video of a particular uh, attendee right so what you can do is that you can just go ahead and turn the video off for them as well you can go ahead and rename them as well so yeah you can rename them with whatever name you wish to so all of that is right in your hands right so that was all regarding the participants that you can do in a nutshell the next thing that we have is the chat. Now in here, you can see there are different chat things that are available, right? So if you have muted them and you could have answered them with a the chat. Say for example, at the very start of the lesson, you are telling that, hey guys, I'm going to mute you all. But if you have a question, feel free to ask it on the chat box. So what you can do is that you can have this chat box on and if anyone messages here, you will see the message and you can at the same time broadcast any message that you want to using this tool over here. So that's a great thing to have. The next thing that we have in here is called a peer screen. Now, this is going to be particularly important because sharing screen is one of the major tasks that you can do with Zoom. So in here, we can click on this arrow and this can actually allow us to share, to set up the sharing settings. Like currently it's set up like one participant can share their screen at one time. But if you want multiple participants to share their screen simultaneously, you can turn that on as well. Now. If I want to share my screen, I can just click on here and it would give me an option. Like if you want to share your entire screen, whatever is on your screen, you can select this. If you want to share a whiteboard, say for example, you want to explain something by drawing or by writing some equation or something like that, you can share a whiteboard. If you want to connect your iPhone or your iPad screen into your Zoom, you can do that using this option over here. You can also actually show them any of your application like in here i've got a chrome opened up i've got an excel sheet opened up i've got my desktop and i've got my obs as well so whatever i wish to i can share with them say for example i want to share the screen so i can just select that and in here i can select share sound if i want to hear the sound as well and then i would click on share and as soon as i do so you can see over here the screen is being shared right and this is the shared screen that everybody is seeing right now now if I want to stop the share anytime, I can just click on this red button over here and the sharing would stop, right? So let's do that currently and boom, there you go. The screen sharing has been stopped. Now let me show you how you can use uh, the whiteboard in here. So we can just go over to whiteboard and click on share and boom, it opens up a whiteboard, right? And in here you can write whatever you want to. You can draw the images. You can actually draw anything that you want to. You can have your spotlight you Can have your spotlight over here. You can... Uh, draw anything you can have your text box over here right so just take the text come over here and write whatever you want to so all of that is possible you can clear everything at one go as well so this is quite amazing and along with the wacom tablet that i showed you you can write very easily over here. so that's a great thing to have with that being said again that's it uh, now let me stop the sharing and i'm back over here so in this way there is a numerous options that you can do with share now some of the advanced option We'll talk about in next tutorial that we have. So the next thing that we have is the record. And in here, if you click on that, what you will do is that, as you can see over here, the recording has been started. This is a particularly important feature of Zoom because say, for example, you are having a corporate meeting, but some of your attendees have not attended. So you can start the meeting and you can start the recording so that you have the entire thing recorded so that you can hand it over to them. Or say, for example, you have a lecture. Some of your students are missing, but still you can record it. The complete class you can record and hand over the recorded file to your student, right? So that's quite amazing. Now, if you have a break time, say for example, you have to take a sip of coffee or a tea or something like that, you can just pause the recording, recording over start. here. And as you can see, the recording has paused. And once you are ready to actually start your lesson back again, you can just go ahead and start play and recording in progress, right? Now, with that being said, um, that's it. I 
uh, now I'm stopping this recording and recording it will be stopped. saved and it will be available once I it, right. So that being said, uh, that is it for the record. Then there is reactions. Now, this is something that you can do, right? Raise up your hand if you have a question. So anybody, if you have a question, they can raise up their hand like this or say maybe um, you want to give them a hard sign, you can do that. And once your query has been resolved, you may lower the hand as well. And that's it. That's how things are. Pretty easy, right? Then you can go ahead and actually have different apps as well. Now, these are apps that are integrated with Zoom. And as you can see over here, like you can have your timer, you can have a music, you can have a background, uh, virtual backgrounds, that is right. Say, for example, you want to uh, take a class in which you want to have a timer, like I'm going to do this some within uh, two minutes, right? So I can place a timer like this and boom, click on start and boom, I can start working with it. And I can show people that, see, I have finished the recording within two minutes, right? That's how powerful it is. With that being said, uh, that's uh, how cool stuff it is. And uh, there is another thing called whiteboard. You can just come over here. And this is Zoom built whiteboard as well, which is inbuilt within Zoom. So in here, you can have different templates as well. As you can see over here, there are plenty of templates that are available, which you can readily use for your meetings. Say, for example, uh, if you have a problem state, you can just click on that and you can click on use template and it would be used for collaborating or presenting. So I can just create. And as you can see, it is creating the whiteboard as of now and boom. There you are. So it has created the presentation for me, all done for you. You just need to actually go ahead and edit this. You need to add your text to it. You can add your fields to it and boom, you are done. So that's how cool stuff it is. And I want to close the whiteboard as of now. And so with that being said, now it's the most important part. That is once we have set everything up, right? We need to actually go ahead and add different participants. How we can do that? We can just come over here on this participant, click on this. And in here, we can go over to invite, right? And then we can invite it uh, via default email. That is your Outlook or via Gmail or your Yahoo mail, right? Or what you can do is that you can copy the invitation link and send that over via your WhatsApp, your messenger, whatever you have. So if I click on this, you can see the link has been copied to clipboard, right? Now, if I use it via Gmail, if I click on this, you can see the Gmail will open up. So let's wait. As you can see, it has op is opening up. Or if you go via default email, it will actually open up your Outlook. So as you can see over here, my Outlook is uh, added. So let's wait. And in here, it fetches my Outlook account, right? Now you can have this. Uh, now, since we have this link copied, so what we can do is that we can open up our notepad. And in here, if we paste this, you can see this is the meeting link that we are going to get, right? And in here, we have the meeting passcode as well, right? So we can just allow that and boom, you are all set, right? Also, you can do this copy invitation and you can see the invitation has been copied. So now if we go ahead and paste this, you can see this gives a better kind of format like live, like join Zoom meeting and you can have the URL, the meeting ID and the passcode. So in here, you can send this over with your messenger, your email, your WhatsApp, your text, whatever you want to, you can share it with that, right? So that's how cool it is. And um, that's how you can invite anybody and everybody to join your, right? I hope that I've given you a basic idea of how Zoom works. And again, if you want to mute yourself on Zoom, you can just come over here and mute. That's a very simple stuff to do. So with that being said, uh, now it's time for the second part of the tutorial where we are going to show you some of the tricks and tips and some advanced level of, so stay tuned for the next one.